Hello everyone, welcome to the Life of Michael Jameson. Thank you for joining us on this day where I'm going to be doing some baking because I know you like the baking vlogs um, and other general bits like... Well, this is already off to a good start. My camera just ran out of memory card. Uh, no, I'm going to be doing other stuff such as editing and watching a film, at least a film. Uh, do some filming as well and other cool stuff. And I hope you enjoy the journey. Here we go. Okay, I'm now up and dressed and... Uh need to do a bit of chore work, so I need to change the bed sheets or something. Right, that's the bed sheet on, done, I'm a lad. Uh, that's what I'm going to have for my lunch, the naked noodle chow mein dish. Um, and then I'm doing some food reviews first, I'm just going to be trying a tiny bit of these uh, things, including the brand new uh, cookie milk cookie, lemon meringue. Wow. So guys, this is a very loose sort of setup for the Fruck Show. I've got my camera set up here with some of the products that I'm actually going to be reviewing and trying to my side. I've got my thumbnail sort of nearly sorted. Um, and I've got my script up. Just, no, that's the wrong spreadsheet. Just here. This is like a very loose sort of script plan for the episode. Um, I've got my research for the news section and I've got the uh, images from Instagram. So we are ready to film the frog show, here we go. Right, thumbnail action, we've got to get some thumbnail footage. Helps if you press record. Got to do a few different versions because you need the text to fit in. Coming up on episode 30 of The Frog Show, I review bubblegum milk. We look at a huge stack of those new Tony chocolate bars. And we have a laugh. Welcome to The Frog Show. Yes, hello and welcome to the Frock Show. We are at episode 30 with the sky blue theme. We've got lots of actually very on-brand foods today. We've got just miraculously got perfect colours for the thumbnail, even though I chose the thumbnail before we chose the products. But enough of that yibba yabba, we always start with the news. Description to this video, sweaty thumbsticks is amazing. Now on with the show. Right guys, that's the end of the behind the scenes. Um, so, yeah, cheers. Okay guys, that was a successful episode of The Fruck Show. Um, this probably looks a little bit weird. Um, some sort of sachet thing with some SD cards, but it's actually something really exciting that I'll be able to discuss soon. And I shouldn't have come into the room with a washing machine in. Good. So the next thing I'm doing now, this might look weird, getting a label on a tin of tomatoes, and I need to turn it upside down for a prop in a comedy channel video in a comedy channel in a comedy channel video so I'm just putting some dull sided tape on and I'm going to put the label on upside down okay there's the tin of tomatoes and here's all the things that I'm going to need um, I don't want to give away the actual uh, like the actual comedy video itself because it's going to go up after this um, but I've got a brilliant idea I've got red food dye here uh, red food powder here it's so strong I've got some water in there I'm going to try and make some blood because of reasons that you'll see. Right, so the thing is I need to be so careful with this because it's so strong, I think it stains things quite easily, especially because I've put absolutely loads in there. Um, I do need to get it on my skin, which is potentially a concern. Um, yeah, it's, it, it is a concern for sure. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to be really careful with placement. Um, yeah, it'll probably be alright, won't it? It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Okay, so the good news, guys, is it's filmed, it's all sorted, and I have barely got the red stuff anywhere. I've already got the cleaning products out to clean it up, so I think I've got it there, and on the top of the can. Uh, the bad news is, um, it's probably definitely stained my fingers really badly, so, uh, ooh, that's gonna... That's going to look like a rash, isn't it? Right, I'm going to try and see if we can clean this off and then I'll give you a cleaning update in a minute. Okay, I haven't reviewed the foot jerk. Take that off. I haven't reviewed the... Nerd hair! Twat hair! 
haven't reviewed the footage yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm quite happy with how that turned out. Uh, in terms of cleaning, not too bad. They are currently stained. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not the ideal outcome, particularly around the nail sort of area. But uh, that's like three hand washes. So if I do another couple hand washes later, that probably m mostly come out. Uh, good. Right. See what's going on in the world, shall we? Six weeks till Captain Marvel, that's what. I might have said this morning that I was going to bake some cookies, but I'm actually going to do it tomorrow now. Because uh, I can't be bothered today. So, good. Back on, on the man you go. There we go. He's pretty cool, right? Yeah, man. Currently watching Titans. Uh, it's, I think it's not very good. Um, I did get some Lego minifigures yesterday from the Lego Movie 2. The second part. And we're having Chinese. My mate Sam recommended this program. Rob and Romesh versus... And it's like a series where they go around the world um, interviewing like famous sports stars. This episode is Jamaica and it's got Usain Bolt in. Having just had Chinese dinner, I'm going to have a Ben and Jerry's Widge. Yeah, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. And that is the end of this day. Okay. The day has started. Always colour code your folders. I'm now actually going to do a bit of work on the vlog channel. Um, it's just not getting good like traffic from like new people. Like it's usually like five subscribers a month or six subscribers a month. It's actually nine at the moment, but and it's actually I think it deserves more than that. Um, maybe it's my monotone voice, but I think there's some, I think some work I can do around the searchability. Smaller vlogs need to rely on better searchability and less on eye-catching titles. And I think I've probably got too many eye-catching titles. Um, bigger vloggers, they need to rely on like clickbait or whatever because they're always going to get loads of views anyway. So they need to get the... They've got the base people that are always going to watch their videos. They need the people that don't always watch their videos. Whereas I need anyone. There's the moon. Orange segment moon. It's like... It's like white citrus shaped moon. Just to clarify the date, it's the 27th of January. And I think the Star Wars Episode 9 title is going to be revealed soon, so I'm going to make a little bit of content on it. I'm going to use a random sentence generator to generate random titles for it and upload that as a comedy video because that might be funny. We'll see. Right, just before I film my. There's a wedding ring on. That's interesting. Sure, there was a wedding ring there earlier. Hmm, good. Good move. I don't know if Claire's hidden it for a prank. Oh, there it is. Fucking stupid. Just before I film that Star Wars video, I'm going to film some food reviews, including a very exciting new product, the new Ben and Jerry's Topped, aka Love Is, which just looks absolutely divine. So I'm using the website Text Fixer and you just press on random sentences and it gives you some random sentences. Let's go. Okay, I just changed loads of the titles on my vlog channel to try and give them more exposure. Can't remember if I mentioned I was going to do that earlier or not. Um, yeah. Damn, I'm pretty sure that uh, earlier in this vlog I said I was going to bake cookies this weekend and I didn't end up doing that. Um, I just made dinner, which is roast poisson. Never had pass on before, so that should be interesting. Just because I thought we there's always so much left over, we just don't need the leftovers. So this way we get a breast each, leg each, wing each, thigh, etc. Just small. So we will see. That's weird. Oh, it's a learner driver. I was going to say there's a really, really slowly driving car down there, which is weird. But people have to learn somewhere, don't they? Um, I've uploaded this video. Wow, the colour is all off. That is so weird. That is showing up as completely blue. I'm going to turn the camera off and on again. There we go. That's what it should look like. Uh, yeah, I've just uploaded the, what, Ben and Jerry's Love is Topped. That's not even what it's called. Uh, yeah, I feel like Sunday vlogs are always just video vlogs. They're just all about videos. 
So as is the usual bloody case, brilliant as a case, as is the usual case with these vlogs, didn't really finish it yesterday, but fuck it guys, it's Monday now, I just got home from work, I'm going to make the cookies, I'm going to set out on the promise I made, you know, none of this up and down business willy won't he, I'm making cookies on a Monday, I'm a maverick, uh, I see you, I see you chocolate chips, mmm, you're mine. Oh, oh, double butter vision. So I think I mentioned I'm using the recipe from this channel, um, I think it's called America's Test Kitchen, and this sub-series is called What's Eating Dan. First, grab your stainless steel. Jesus, this smells so good. Oh my God, look at the uh, shine on that as well. Wow. If you sharpened that, that would look insane. Wow. Okay, so the eggs are in it now, and uh, just there's a few stages of like resting the dough, or the yeah cookie dough. Uh, there's a few stages of resting the dough during this recipe. So you like whisk it for three minutes, then rest. Uh, sorry, whisk it for thirty seconds, then rest it for three minutes, and you do that a few times. Okay, cookie dough is now finished. Another vital thing is that you shouldn't over mix it. So let's get this baked. Okay, we're having BLT for dinner, so that's all sort of prepped. Um, and the first batch of cookies are out. Um, yeah, they look pretty good. They look quite different to what I was expecting, to be fair. But I'm definitely interested to try them. Okay, so cookies all made. I actually tried one off camera, but it would be mean to... to... Um, what's the word? Desert you of valuable food review content. The worst camera setup in history goes to... Hmm. Mm. Browning the butter has really helped, really come through nicely. It gives it a lovely golden sort of, it's not a caramelly taste, it's like a rich, just a rich taste. It's very crispy and sugary, like that sort of crispiness on the outside. And chewy and a little cakey in the middle. That's the one thing. It's probably too much towards cakey than chewy, but it's still chewy. Um, I don't know if maybe... I did fuck up one thing, I used baking powder instead of baking soda, so it could be that. Still really good though. Alright, stop eating that. Okay guys, so just to close off this vlog, I thought I'd show you our meal. Um, the lighting isn't great, but we're definitely going to enjoy this product. Thank you for watching this vlog guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you next time, bye!